hello everybody how are you guys doing today welcome back welcome back to another grounded uh this time around though oh let me um it's the audio a little bit it's a little bit high um this time though <laughs> we're not gonna be doing multiplayer we're just gonna be doing a single player uh playthrough here so if you see the let's play grounded in the title then that will mean that it this is the um the single player playthrough that we're doing so just me and you the chat watching and enjoying and learning and uh hopefully you guys can are helping me as well <laughs> i'm gonna need it um so yeah a little bit more time with chat and uh, just chilling and learning how the game works and if you see the um, the other title, like the one we did yesterday with the uh, multiplayer live stream with Raptor and Trisimilod and with uh, Lumberjack uh, or uh, L Lumberjack Samurai, I think it was called. I think so. Um, yeah, if you see that one, that title with multiplayer also in the title, then that means it's a multiplayer playthrough. So we're doing two. Uh, if Raptor wants to play more grounded, then I will join him with uh, within that world. And now we're doing this one as well. Because there is a lot to learn in this game. And it's quite difficult, in my opinion. Like, I see a lot of people, a lot of reviews saying it's like the greatest game ever or whatever. <laughs> a lot of big channels as well. And I'm like... I mean, sure, it's fun, but... There, there, there's, there's so much. I'm like, I, I'm not even, I, I don't even know how to enjoy the game because it's too difficult to remember everything. <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not even enjoying it because I don't know what I'm doing. So that's why we're doing this one. We're just doing single player, starting a new game. And I also wanted to change some different settings. Our custom, is that what we can do? customize oh there we go yes okay so i want to keep it on medium difficulty um i believe we can change it during playing the game as well so we'll keep it on medium for now and i want to change some stuff like the backpack for example not having to lose our stuff equipment durability When durability drains, you will need to repair your equipment. Continue to use it. Toggle this off if you don't want your equipment to degrade. Hmm. Could make it a whole lot easier for us. Um. But no, let's not do that. Let's not do that. That's fine. Menus, pause the game. That could be useful option is disabled in multiplayer of course but it's very useful in a single player let's turn that on let's turn it on it might be very useful faction reactivity what does that mean when enabled bugs in the yard will become annoyed with you over time and take the fight back to your base oh okay i want to keep that on that might be interesting i mean it kind of depends on how difficult it gets uh, but I think we'll keep this on for now. Sounds like an interesting thing to have. And this one. I want the backpack to respawn with me. I don't want to lose it at all when I die. It's a bit cheaty maybe, but... That'll be nice. Pet invincibility. Ooh, we can have pets. I don't know what pets do in the game. I don't know how useful they are. Let's turn that on. Make them invincible, my pets. 
Building integrity. Multi-level buildings will need... You'll need to follow structural support rules. Okay. Now we'll keep, we keep this normal for now. I don't want to make it too easy either. Because I do want to actually learn how to play the game properly. But I feel like these ones might uh, might help me a little bit. Alright, accept. Uh, that'll be good then. And I guess we'll start playing as Pete. I mean, I'm white AF. Just like Pete. I have glasses, just like Pete. I'm not as much as a nerd as Pete seems to be. But I am sort of a nerd, so... My name's Peter. I think, uh, Pete. <laughs> I think Pete will be a good one. For me to play and we'll uh, call this world um boosters backyard there we go sounds good good to see everybody here welcome already 20 people watching that is amazing and um I'm, i am streaming on twitch again today during this stream Earlier today, I wasn't streaming on Twitch because for some reason I couldn't connect to Twitch. It, it wouldn't let me. I wouldn't let me log into Twitch with my Streamlabs. So, um, yeah, I did a stream of Slime Rancher earlier today. If the people on Twitch want to see that one, hop onto the YouTube channel, of course, and watch, watch back that one. But now we're playing Grounded again on both, luckily. We have a special breaking report. The police department has released information that more local teenagers have gone missing. Ooh. They were last seen earlier this week, and the only connection between the teenagers is that they are all students at Brook Hollow High School. This could be linked to the disturbing trend of other possible abductions and missing teenagers from our otherwise quiet town. If anyone has seen the teenagers or has any other information, please contact the police department. All right. I didn't want to talk too much through that, even though I already did. <laughs> but good to see everybody here. 20 people watching approximately on YouTube and Twitch combined. That's awesome. 13 likes. Don't forget to hit that like button if you enjoy open world survival games like uh, like this one. I'll, I'll be playing more of this one for sure. Because I do want to learn how the game works. And I just want to play it some more. Ba -ba -bum. This takes a while, this intro. But who all is here? I see we have Daniel Taylor here. Welcome back with the Stroop Waffles. Awesome. Hi, hi. We have uh, 91 leads, of course. We have Mr. Kingbo. Welcome back. Maybe it will be like Valheim. Uh, it will say a swarm of ants attacks. <laughs> I, I don't think it will announce it, but you will probably notice it <laughs> when it happens. I, I hope they announce it. That would be cool. Would be good if they did, but I doubt it. You played this a couple of years ago, uh, 91 Leads, but it wasn't a finished game yet. Yeah, I played it one and a, like one and a half year ago or something. It was in uh, 2020, December, Whoa. December 2020 or something. Looks like you really stepped in it this time. Just where in the world are you? It was a long time ago. Hello? Hello? Yesterday we played this multiplayer with Raptor and Simulot and, uh, and um, Samurai. It's pretty fun. I noticed though when starting a new world, be it multiplayer or single player, it's super laggy for like the last... Like the first couple of minutes. Like loading in all the new terrain and such. It's like pretty laggy. So I'm gonna just slowly walk. Not gonna do too crazy stuff. Just let the world load in for a while. Just take it nice and slow. And watch where you step. Or if you're feeling lucky, you could take this bow. No, never mind. That's a reference to someone else. <laughs> Pick up those mushrooms. Oh my goodness. I already see lawn mites there. Oh, so this is actually really close to that one. I didn't... Oh, oh god. Oh god. 
Oh no. There's already a lot of things behind me. Oh my god. Okay, we're safe. Alright, how does that peeping thing work again? I'm not sure how this stuff works. Oh wait, oh wait, hold on, hold on, hold on, okay. And peep creature. Lawn might. Weevil. Okay, so I couldn't do that yesterday. Yesterday I tried to do that, but it didn't work properly. But now it works. Peeping new box in the yard unlocks creature cards revealing weaknesses and resistances. Nice. That's good. Solar Demos, good to see you too. Welcome. And uh, oh, sorry, Purple Calf Boy. On, uh, on Twitch there, sorry. I didn't see your message earlier. I uh, looked over it. Good to see you. Thanks for uh, the quick hi. I appreciate it if you're still watching. <laughs> <clears throat> Get myself a little bit to drink. There we go. Alrighty. Let's continue. Hey, Lilura. Good to see you. Ah, you're still watching purple. Awesome. We'll be lurking for a short period. Cool, cool. Uh-oh. This lawn might is after me. Uh-oh. I don't even have a weapon yet. Don't even have a weapon yet. And already, everything is after me. Can I build something? No, of course not. Because I first have to research stuff. Well, logic dictates that there are probably more of these stations around. Maybe if I keep searching, I'll find some clues. Or someone. Maybe. Alright, so I never really understood the brain power unlocks. We can analyze stuff, but we also have brain power unlocks. And brain power level is here. So if we analyze this... And we get 30 raw science. We get these items we can make now. Okay, and we have plus 15 brain power. Okay, cool. And then the more levels we have, the more things we can make out here, I guess. I guess so. Uh, let's do the pebble too. All right, got that. More brain power. And we'll do one of those. Come on, plant fiber. Okay. Still a little bit unsure about the brain power stuff. It's a bit confusing to me. Increasing your brain power. <clears throat> Increasing your brain power to higher levels unlocks new crafting recipes and blueprints. The latter shown hints... The latter shown hints at what's possible with a sufficiently yoked mind. Okay. Okay, so... Either... So either I analyze stuff and learn recipes that way or if i reach brain power level one it will automatically unlock i'm guessing i'm guessing that's what it means all right i'm not sure but i think i'm right about that all right let's see if we can craft something here let's craft one of those and we need some more plant fiber to craft ourselves a spear. Let's get that first because we already got creatures going after us. We need to be prepared. We need to be prepared for that. There we go. Craft that spear. Craft the pellet axe. We'll be using that for like forever. <laughs> 
<laughs> awesome. Jen Singh, good to see you. Thanks for the congrats there. You're so happy I'm playing the game? I'm glad you're enjoying it. I mean, I'm guessing you're enjoying it since you're here. <laughs> Taking a look. Uh, let's remove that waypoint. It's a little bit annoying. Or actually... Um, right no, no, we'll keep that waypoint. Just to make sure we can find our way back there. And let's change our... Up bar. I do not want that there. I want that. I want that. Alright, that's better. Much, much better. Gresham, good to see you too. Craft Joy, you missed the street. You missed me earlier. Um, by the time by the time I, you figured out you weren't streaming on Twitch, you were just closing down the stream on YouTube. Ah, oh. Do you feel brave enough yet to play this on on your own? Or are all the insects weaker in single player? Um, no, we're, we're playing the same difficulty. We're playing the same difficulty as uh, before. But it is possible, I believe. Yeah, right here. It is possible to change the game settings if it is too difficult. So if I want to, I can play mild, which will make it a lot easier. Or I can make it more difficult. Or I can change some some rules, like equipment, durability, and stuff like that. I already changed a little bit, like not losing my backpack and stuff. But I'm playing the same difficulty, the, the, the normal difficulty, as I have before. We'll see how that goes. I might turn it to, uh, to easy mode. To mild. Because obviously, I'm playing on my own now, so I will have to do a whole lot more fighting compared to when playing multiplayer. How do you change not losing your backpack? If you uh, do go to the menu, game settings, and you go all the way down, this one, backpack items on death. Uh, usually it's it sits on drop backpack. I have it on respawn with me. And you can always also lose it forever, but obviously that's not what we want to have. <laughs> we want to have it with us. I don't think that worked properly. It seems like the machine needs all three lasers to function. Maybe there's a way to fix them. Yeah, there definitely is, Pete. Let's chop this down. You play with less spider setting, still nearly launch your keyboard with the first one. Oh, like, uh, because how scary they are, you mean? <laughs> I can imagine. Now we need to find some water actually too. Pretty low on water and food. You have that setting in Vintage Story, big difference? Oh, heck yeah. <laughs> I can imagine. Vintage Story is a pretty difficult game. Losing all your stuff is painful. Really painful. Raw science. There we go. So now we have Brain Power level up one, which unlocks... Okay, all these. Okay. Already known, and these are the ones we know now extra. Okay. So I was right about that. So if you hit a certain brain power level, you will automatically unlock all the other crafting recipes in that level. That is good. Okay, that's good. Really good to know. How many levels are there? Oh my god. 15 levels? Jeez. Okay. Let's analyze that too. Want to analyze as much as possible. Um, there we go. Drop that. I'm not. I'm still not sure if I prefer to play third person or first person. You know what they say? A foolish consistency is the hobgoblin of little mice. Still not sure what I prefer. 
I feel like sometimes first person like this is better. But at other times I'm like... It's, it's really annoying to, to do certain things. I'll play first person for now, but I'll probably end up switching at some point. We'll see. We'll see how it goes. <laughs> okay, I need to find water. There's water up there. How do we get up there? Oh, hi. No, no, don't. Don't worry, bro. Don't worry, just keep going. Don't worry about me. Oh, hi. Tower to Nat, say attention. Your flight path is not cleared. We need those nets. Important to get those. Now, right, where's where's water, bro? No, no, don't fight me. I'll fight back. Where's water? Water. I need water. Please, sir. Could I have some water, please? There it is. Water filtration tablets needed. Very nice. And I still need a little bit of food, too. We need to craft a bandage, according to the game. You prefer third person, Lilora? Yeah. I... Like... I prefer third person, especially when... Especially when, like, exploring. It's a lot easier to see our surroundings. Um... And when finding, fighting spiders, like in this game, it's scary AF in first person. <laughs> That's super scary. Um, but also, like... Um, I, I, I just, I'm, I'm not really a big fan of looking down like this to hit a mite, for example. Like, if we're, fight, if we're fighting um, an ant, then we can just do this, right? That's fine. It's not too big of a difference. But fighting, a, like, a lawn mite, you have to look all the way down, like, to hit it. Which is freaking annoying. And then I then I much rather play in uh, first person. Because then it feels like it's a little bit less. You know what I mean? Maybe I'm just crazy. I am kind of crazy. I won't deny it. Alright, let's go over here. There's a couple of lawn mites there. I know there are. Can't spot it. Oh. Get that, get that. Actually, if we... Um, keep that. There we go. Get that sap. More sap here. There is. Useful. Very useful. More sap here. You can make more bandages with that. We're gonna need them. And let's make some more bandages right there. Beautiful. We'll also need to get a torch. So I actually needed to keep some sap. I wasn't smart using it all. But I believe we can find some more at the laser. Oh yeah, right here actually. Perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect. It's like the game knows that we need it. Awesome. Any more? Any more sap? Oh, one back there. Very nice. Can we craft the torch? Can. We need crude rope and dry grass. Make crude rope. Now I'll need to make some 
dry grass by chopping that down. There we go. That'll be good. Alright, let's make our way over here. After making the torch. Otherwise I'll forget about it again. Right, and here's supposed to be a bunch of lawn mites, yep. I already see quite a few. Oh, and an uh worker ant. Hello. We pet you? Wait, could we pet you? I thought we could pet him for like a second. Those mites are no match for the mites of small peat. <laughs> Got him. Oh, and there's a lawn mite wanna attack me. These ones take multiple hits while the ones on the cable only take one. I wonder what's that about. Oh, jeez. Maybe they're already being damaged by the uh, electricity or something. Maybe that's the reason. Disturb the mites and they'll bite. Oh yeah. I bet they will bite for sure. All right, let's change this. My mom always says I light up a room. Oh boy. Very nice. Need a little bit more health. Let's take those bandages. They really don't heal as much as I would like to. Let's eat something. Because the more we eat, the more we heal as well. There we go. Oh, there we go. Another one. Very good. Oh, I forgot we can also block with a spear, even. Probably won't do much, but it is possible. Alright, cool. Looks like we made it. Pick up those things. Uh, we cannot get through this yet. We need a hammer. Alrighty. I don't remember what was over there. I don't remember if we've been there, actually. I think so. I think uh, Similat brought us there. But I don't remember what for. Oh, there's a bunch of sap here. Pick up all that. And there's more of those lawn mice. Oh. Is that a bee? Oh! Oh god. Oh heck no. Oh heck no. <laughs> run. 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 I'm not gonna mess with that. What the hell? Okay, we're good. We're good, we're fine, don't worry about it. Absolutely fine. We're alright. Yeah. Okay. Hey there, Niwa. Good to see you, welcome back. Uh, what do we do now? Oh, activation. There we go. I forgot. Ooh. Oh yeah, and a lap under the tree exploded. 
Investigate the oak tree explosion. It's getting quite late. I should construct some shelter and get some sleep. Yeah, that's a good idea, constructing some shelter. We'll need it for sure. Sleep through the night. Don't want to worry about uh later end. Let's kill this weevil. We do need the food. Okay. Hi there. I like those ants, but also I'm a bit scared whenever I see them. I really like them, but also a bit scared whenever I see them. Because I feel like it's a... Uh, like every time I think that it's a soldier ant. The soldier ants are actually much bigger than that. Which is worse, of course. <laughs> Makes it a lot worse. Yeah. There we go. Get a couple of those. Alright, we need to construct a lean to. Is what they want us to do. I'm just gonna make my base up there. Just like we did with Raptor and everybody. Because I feel like... At least I know the area from here. And maybe later down the line we'll make like a, another base. We'll probably end up making another base somewhere. Once we find a better location for it maybe. Oh there's actually sap down there too. That's really difficult to grab though. I'm a very detailed streamer. You really enjoy my content. Thank you. Thank you. I try to. <laughs> uh, let's see. Now. I actually would like to build. I would like to build a floor or something. Can we do that? Grass doors. Triangle wall. Grass walls. Half wall. Half wall. Can we not build a floor? Yet? Okay. Well, maybe we'll make that later then. Okay, we need clover... Oh, we need clover leaves for the lean over. Or for the lean to. Let's get clover leaves. Some back there. Oh, these mites want to kill me. Hold on. My god. Rude. I'm scared. I keep hearing... Bad noises. <laughs> I'm scared, chat. I need you guys to help me out. I'm scared. Somebody hold my hand, please. All right, get those. I don't know how many we'll need. Let's make a couple. And uh, one more. All right, there we go. That'll be good. I need water desperately. There's water there. There we go. Perfect. Here's the baseball. And let's get the building what I need. Um, Time to crash. Have a good stream. Thanks, Purple Goff, boy. I'll see you later. Till next time. The best starter spot? Yeah, I guess so. I mean, it's relatively safe, it seems. Not yet. You need to unlock foundations from Burgle. Oh, okay. <clears throat> okay, so I need to uh, be a little bit further in the game than first. Oh my god, what was that? The B. Are those gonna attack me for no reason? I have not... I have not fought a B yet. In my two live streams that we played. 
I've not fought one yet, so... Hopefully I don't have to worry about those. <laughs> do birds start attacking? I hope not. Alright, let's do a respawn. And sleep for 8 hours. It's 6 now. That, that wouldn't be a good idea. I need to wait a little bit longer before I go to sleep. Need to wait just a little bit longer. Get that sap. Get these mushrooms for food. Mm. Just collecting massive amounts of all the normal stuff. The easy to get stuff. Fill up my inventory of all of it. <laughs> and oh yeah, let's get this one. We need the food sooner or later. <clears throat> and what can we research? I want to research clovers. Storage, stable, okay. And this stuff. Maybe we'll make a better torch out of it. Oh yeah, slime mold torch. And... A might fuss, yes. Sure. Arrow might hat. Stuffed might. Is that food? And fuzz on the rocks. Huh. Alright, cool. Cool, cool, cool. We know some more things now. Good stuff. How do we make a chest then? Storage basket, I mean. Rude rope. Alright, that's pretty easy. Make a bunch of those. And then we can make it. Trail marker. Oh yeah, let's make a trail marker. Let's put a trail marker right there. Um, build that. Set custom marker. Home icon. And... What color stands out very well against all the green? Either in daytime or or also in nighttime. What color stands out? Mm. I feel like any of these colors would be bad sometimes. Maybe orange? Let's do orange. I feel like maybe that that would be the best best thing, unless you're like at one of these leaves. But ah, it's pretty good actually. Pink, red, and orange. All right. Yeah, we'll do orange. I think that's the best one too, or at least one of the best. Oh, we got water there. Um. Okay, it is now officially nighttime. The music has changed. There's so much water around, actually. That's good. That's real good. Let's get one of these. Yeah. Ooh. Big fall. I mean, I know we'll need more after sleeping. Nice and clean. But if I get some now, then at least I will have a little bit of water left when I wake up. Right? Alright, there we go. We have our spawn point. 
Let's sleep. Caution, you'll wake up in the dark. Oh. Oh, this is the time you wake up. Oh, that's nice that you can see that. Okay. And that's actually really good that you can see that right there. I never noticed that. See, I'm, I'm learning so much from playing it on my own compared to multiplayer. I, I have so much more time to look at things and just chill out. Read your comments. Niwaya's lurking. Lurking is good. Lurking is fine. Bum, bum, bum. I'm a bit scared. Oh, what the heck is that? Oh my god. Is that a bug with like mushrooms growing on its back? Dude. That's nasty. Taking a look. Oh wait, that's a ladybug. That Infected ladybug. Location marked. Oh, no. Okay. Alright, I think enough exploring for now. Let's go to sleep. Hey there, Lawson. Better to play solo or start with... Uh, better to play solo or start with an all-new player as a multiplayer. I think solo is better. It might be more difficult fighting things. That will definitely be more difficult. But like learning stuff and lore of the game will probably be better playing single player. Alright, now we'll wake up at the daytime. Or at least when it's lighter outside. There we go. Much better. Much, much better. Awesome. Alright, I am hungry. I need water. Water. Water, please. Um. Hey, wasn't there water right here? Did it drop? Did I not see it? Am I going crazy? Don't answer that. No water filtration tablets there we go. Uh, that's one. We'll need another. To fully heal up, but for now it's fine, I guess. Is the voice of the robot in the game the same as the robot in Borderlands? I never played Borderlands, so I'm not sure. <laughs> I couldn't tell you. Uh, let's build a roasting pit. Put that right there. There we go. And we can cook some food. You are going crazy. Oh no, definitely not going. Rude. That's so rude. You're saying I already am crazy? Unbelievable. I thought we were all friends out here. You're gonna go and call me crazy like that? So rude. Unbelievable. You didn't say that, I did. Well, I know what you meant.
No, no, no. Don't, don't try to... Don't try to talk it right. I know you. I know what you meant. I know what you meant. Oh, that's the infected ladybug. I never noticed an infected ladybug so close. My hands to my face makes me see any better than with my glasses. <laughs> ah, is this cooked yet? Cool. And oh, I thought maybe we had another one. Guess not. Let's eat one of those. Perfect. All right. Um, we need to get some armor. I think. I think we need to get some armor. Grub height. Hyper stamina. Medium armor. This is light armor. Uh, uh, uh. I guess the light armor is easier to craft. Uh, I need a workbench for it. Let's build a workbench first then. Solve our problems. Build that right there for now. We just need grass planks. Easy. There we go. And then we can start crafting armor. Let's get this one first. And then we can craft this one. And we need one more crude rope. And a couple of lever. Uh, lever. <laughs> oh my god. Clover leaves. <laughs> need not lever. <laughs> oh my god. I am going crazy. I am indeed going crazy. I don't blame anyone for calling me crazy. Because I am. Wait, what is that food thing there? Does that mean that will... Cooler? Is that a positive effect? Like... A little safer now. I'll have more food or something? Or like maximum food? Or... What does that mean? No idea. <clears throat> okay, but we need to get some more clovers. I think there were a couple back here, no? Where we gathered them before. Um, yes. Only needed three more, I believe. Oh, those are big. Yes. Perfect. Get a little extra. Never know when you need it. <clears throat> and make the final. Oh no, we need the rope. Got one more rope. And now make the final one. And equip. Perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect. <clears throat> so now at least we have basic armor with two and a half resistance, two and a half resistance, and five percent resistance. Light armor with fuller bonus or whatever that means. Can we see that here? <clears throat> uh, well fed bonus. With slow health regeneration. Delicious meal has stopped your hunger from depleting for a while. Nice. Fuller, stay full longer. Okay. <laughs> what? Moist. You're squishy and retain water well. 
gear set bonus. What? <clears throat> Slightly stamina. Slight stamina increase required to swing weapons. Oh, a medium will, of course, cost more again. Okay. Right, right, right. We don't have any mutations yet. Oh, wait, hold on. What was, um... Oh, it is just stamina and stuff. Let me drink something quickly. Before I forget again. <clears throat> oh, I definitely need to drink more often during streaming, especially when doing two streams on a day. Alrighty, let's explore. So we needed to go to the uh, to the lab, <clears throat> the oak lab. Can we craft some? Bandages. There we go. I'll put those on seven. The torch can go on three. That'll be good for now, I guess. Anything else to research? Oh, yeah. Bunch of stuff. Uh, analyze this. <clears throat> Raw science. Bandages. Maybe we'll, we can get a better one. We analyze it. Eye patch. Okay, useless. <laughs> Mushroom. Mushroom slurry. That might be good. Maybe better than uh, normal mushrooms, at least. Alright, plenty of gathering there, I think. And we're going... <clears throat> Let's see. Where are we going? This is the pawn. Um, I find this map really confusing. Where's the tree? Is this the tree? This thing right here? <clears throat> no, right? Tree is right there. Right there. In that direction. Oh, it is this one. That is the tree. Okay. I thought it wasn't. Then why have we been going to the right side of the tree the entire time? Because this is much closer to the water. <clears throat> or maybe that's where the, the goldfish is or something. Or the, the koi carp, whatever. Yeah, I'm really not a big fan of the map. It's super confusing. It's really confusing to me. Alright, so that is the tree. We got our base marker there, so that's good. That's important. Get some more sap here. That's the house. Tree is right there. <clears throat> All right. Let's go this way. At least if I go this route, I kind of know what to expect. Tropic, Tropico Puncho. Oh, that's this thing. Okay. 
Get all those mushrooms. The nose knows. <laughs> Funny. One of those. Tree right there. Uh oh. That's no grub. It's a larva. I spy. You got one. Get the scarts. What's happening? Uh oh. Hi. Oh god. Didn't realize it would follow me. <clears throat> okay we're good for now ant hills be careful soldier ends oh i should have made a hammer can I make a hammer on the go? I think so. Make that one. Hammer. There we go. Awesome. <clears throat> Definitely need that. Oh, I think that's the soldier end. No? Oh, it's eating the um it's eating the, the honey the honeydew from the aphids. Careful of spiders, too. Oh, there's a lot of sap here. It's good to remember. We should get those acorns, maybe, too, right? <clears throat> we have a lot of inventory space left. So let's get... The hammer? Oh, here it is. Put this on three. I'll put this on four. Let's see what we can do here. Get that acorn. Very good. Give us some food as well. At the same time. Something's afoot. Uh, what? Tremor detected? Something's afoot? What? What does that mean? Something big? I'm scared now. <laughs> I mean, I've been here a couple of times. And I never heard, no heard my character say something like that. Get all that sap. Alright, there's plenty of these acorns. We should be able to make better armor for ourselves. That's awesome. Oh yeah, and those sap things? I forgot about those. Whenever I'm low on sap, I should definitely check out this tree. See if there's some of that, like, big sap. <clears throat> and I mean, there's plenty of it laying around, too. So even if those big ones aren't there, might be some smaller ones. A lot of this laying around. And we're good on inventory still. Oh my goodness, so much. Nice. Oh, <laughs> half of it disappears into the ground. 
That's really unfortunate. Half of it just disappears. Oh well. Can't complain. Okay, there are a lot more, but we should probably keep moving. Let's try and find our way into that base. Uh, don't want to go in there. Multiple spiders there. That's bad. Bad news, bears. What about this place? Okay. Here we go. Oh, I am really low on uh, water, actually. I need to get water first before we go in here. Um, I can just drink some dirty water, I guess. Is that possible? No. Ah, it's one of those things. One of the punchos. I'm glad that I took a look at my water first. Otherwise, we would have had bad time. Would have had a real bad time. Alright, it doesn't help as much as I hoped it would. Oh wait, there's another uh, big thing there. Nice. Might be able to get a little bit more water back there too. Please, Slurpee. Soda drop. And another. Cool. Alright, I think we're good to go, guys. We're good on water for now. We're good on food. get back there here we go we're inside the oak tree lab Ooh. I actually have not been here <clears throat> uh, talking to the robot myself because I was late yesterday during Raptor stream. I mean, I've been here like one and a half year ago when I played it the first time, I think. But I don't remember any of that, so. This is basically all new to me. Those look like idealized Ooh. geometric shapes in that pink thing. They can't be real. You're a science. What does that say? Taking a look. Dominant. Analyzer. Analyze some more stuff along the way. <clears throat> I think that's pretty important to get new uh, new stuff. New crafting possibilities. Break bow. Uh, analyze the acorn stuff, of course. Oh, there we go. Water container. Nice. Grinder. What does a grinder do? We have brain power upgrade now. Nice. <clears throat> Red and recipe. Okay. Good, good. Yeah, we can do more later. Raw signs. I have isolated the source of the particle irregularities. They appear to be a byproduct of the shrinking process. Is the voice of that guy, is that high enough? Is it loud enough? I feel like it's a bit low, isn't it? I'm going to bump it up to like 95. If I adjust the machine to account I think this is better. It should be the key to the de-shrinking... Expanding process. Let me know if it should be louder or not. To 100. Covalent SNPI 42Z particle traces. Ugh, that name is going to get tiresome. And while you're at it, rename all references to the irregular covalent SNPI 42Z particle to raw science. Raw science. Order received. Raw science identified. 
Nice. <clears throat> Raw science. Ba, ba, ba. Can it be cooked? <laughs> okay. Not don't think we're gonna get wiser out of that. We can open up this door. That's probably what we have to do. Hello? Ooh. Discovered the oak lab. Oh, look at all that sap. Heck yeah. Get all that sap. Hopefully it respawns. <clears throat> if it respawns, it'll be great. Hostile presence detected. Battery backup failure. Biometric scan. The burgle. Where is that hostile? Oh, it's burgle. Help burgle stand. Raw signs back there. Hey there, Burgle. Oh, Holdy. <clears throat> it's all good for you, Lilura. The audio. Cool. Thanks for the helping hand. I am B -B 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 Burgle, acting science manager for this project. I am also a robot. I see that. I am sure this all must be very disorienting for you, but hopefully I can explain. Okay. I am sure this all must be very disorienting for you, but hopefully I can explain. I suspect you were miniaturized by Dr. Tully's spacer device. Why are you here in the yard? I do not know. In fact, I cannot seem to recall much of anything. A recent power surge has caused a massive raw science containment explosion. This lab, as you can see, is a disaster. And what's worse, the explosion has disrupted my computing power. My memory banks are corrupted. Sorry to pile on the bad news, my new friend. How can I be of service? Uh, where am I? <clears throat> you are here, in the Oak Lab. Built and used by Dr. Wendell Tadelli to experiment on all things small. This is the base of operations for conducting experiments in his yard. Hmm, okay. Uh, who is Dr. Wendell Tully? Dr. Tully is a brilliant scientist and inventor. He is also my creator. My initial protocol was to serve as the short order cook of the future. However, I have been recently promoted to acting science manager to assist with his experiments. No doubt my previous work experience has been invaluable to Dr. Tully. <laughs> sure. Although, now that I am processing it, I have not seen him for several weeks. And now I cannot recall where he went. It must be my corrupted memory banks. How come I can't remember anything? It seems you and I are both a little discombobulated. Given my best calculations, your biomass has been subject to covalent spacing reduction via interatomic energy extraction. In right. other words, you have been shrunk. It is likely this was achieved using Dr. Wendell Tully's spacer platform, patent pending. Shrinking can be a traumatic experience for tiny human brains, and memory loss is a known side effect. Hopefully your memory will return in time. I'm sure it will. Hey, Robert. Good to see you. To return to your prior size, you would need to successfully activate Dr. Telly's spacer platform. Hmm. Okay. Unfortunately, my readings indicate it is inoperable. It appears to have suffered several malfunctions from the explosion. Right. I am sorry, but it appears you may be stranded here for some time until we find a solution. 
Can we fix it? <laughs> that is a great idea. Let me run a full diagnostic scan on it and see what we need to do to get it fixed up. Processing. 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 Memory fault. <clears throat> 2. Okay, so we got to hack into the mainframe. Okay. ASL grants access to daily work items. Nay, tasks. Nay, quests. Yes, quests. I will reward you raw science for each completed quest. Awesome. In my science shop, you can trade raw science back for survival recipes from experiments that Wendell conducted when he was first exploring the yard. Log on to the ASL terminal over there and see what is available. Unless you have any other questions, you really should get started finding those ch ships and try not to die out there. I will try not to die. Great day. <laughs> Alrighty. Let's go over here. Got some more raw science here. Raw science. Alright, we'll have to do the biometric scanner. There we go. Receive a super chip for Burgle. Purchase an upgrade in the sign shop using the ASL. Okay. <clears throat> so I've seen this before. Didn't really know what it meant. Burgle's quests. Something going on? Oh, okay. I think we're good. Um... Find a grave robbery burgle chip. Grave robbery. In a hill to the west is where you start this quest. Straight through the rooted room gets you closer to the tomb. Past the tunnel of red rests, the soul that is dead, down the hole lies your goal. Okay, cool. Kill weevils and complete trail marker at troll glitch. Okay. I mean, I guess we can com we can do this, right? Is it daily? Or can we just get it now and do it whenever? Let's get it, just in case. 
<clears throat> uh, I'm not sure if we want to do that right now. We'll see. In a science shop? You have 1300 points. You can unlock smithing station, brittle whetstone, brittle plating, cooking. You can unlock multi story bases. Oh, grass floor. There we go. Triangle floor, brick railing, acorn railing. All right, all right, all right. Cool. I really want to get a multi-story base stuff <clears throat> so we can build a proper sort of base. But it's probably better to get the smithing station first. Or cooking station, or both. We can actually get both right now, to be honest. Because uh, this is 100 points. Let's get this one for sure. There we go, 100. And... Yeah, I'm guessing that cooking is more important right now. Required. I'm not sure what this is. Is that clay? I think we could get clay with a shovel and then go to the water and find one of those red rocks or something. That's supposed to be clay, I think. What would Dr. Tikitoni do? Meet my, my loaf. Might loaf, I like it. I mean, I don't like it, but it's probably a good meal. Um, what should I get? It's better to get all the quests so that you can do them whenever. Oh, can you do them whenever? I thought there were daily quests. Some of them. Okay, then I'll just get all of them, I guess. Alright, let's unlock the cooking. And let's get all the quests then, I guess. Accept. Accept. There we go. We'll get all the quests. You didn't see any time limits on yours? Alright, good. Alright, anything else back here? There are some items here, that's nice. Granola bar, rude rope, bandage, take those, take those ropes as well, might as well. Don't think you want to go out there yet. All right. Can we go out? Now uh, we have to go through here, I think, right? Yeah. We can jump out here. Let's pick this up. Verbal transcription unit, 87.9.5. Order number one. Robot, I need you to monitor these power fluctuations and inform me if they exceed acceptable limits. Pizza Hello. table. My name is Verbal, and I will be serving you today. Only to your obsolete burger flipping brethren now consigned to the scrap heap. I need you to monitor these readings, Burgle. And isn't it redundant to specialize in cooking and grilling? Understood. Appending monitor power fluctuations to my prime directive list. Deprioritizing grilling. <laughs> Good. Now get on with it. Reprioritizing grilling. Get on with it. <laughs> nice. Uh oh, it's dark. Oh, that ain't good. That ain't good. We need to get home. Aphids. Nature's lollipops. Nature's lollipops? What? How's an aphid nature's lollipops? How does that make sense? Right, we need water. See water right there.
Target found. Target acquired. Saw some more somewhere. But I think we're good for now. Let's just run home. Get back home safe. Oh, there's water here. Juice drop. Nice. Very, very useful. Haven't seen any big spiders chasing us yet. Not yet. That's good. Makes me very happy. Being careful though. At any moment something can start chasing me. Alright, we're back here. In a relatively safe area. Oh, we never picked this up. I was a fool to have ever doubted myself. A fool like Klein, like Kaminsky, like Schmechter, like all of Ominent. I am here in the backyard. Down in the backyard. I mean, I am speaking to you from the backyard. I am tiny! I should gather the This is a momentous occasion. Wendell Tholey official log 89.08.05. Recording as I take my first steps into the miniature world. The sights are unbelievable. The textures, the, the way the light falls upon every surface, the subtle patterns in all of the objects that surround me, the grass. Even common lawn grass looks like a structure from an alien world. Wait. What's that sound? The very earth is trembling. Over there, what could it be? An ant! My <laughs> god, today, the world has changed forever! He's very happy about that. Cool stuff. Alright, we, we got quite a bit done already. That's awesome. Um, What's the time? Okay, if we sleep now, we'll be daytime again. Good. Maybe it would have been better to just stay awake during the night, but... Now things have respawned. Some things, anyway. Alrighty. Let's get better armor. Let's get crude ropes. Um, because the clover stuff won't cut it. What about the ant stuff? What is better, ant or acorn? So the acorn has threat generation, and it's heavy armor. Well, the red ant stuff is light armor as well. Um, let's see. Same stuff. It's got hauling strength. Increases hauling capacity. So what does that mean? Like we can carry more of an item on a stack? Like resistance wise, like defenses, the acorn seems to be better. I mean, the defense actually is about the same. Like, it doesn't seem to increase. But the resistance is higher. I think I'll try the, the end armor, maybe. Being able to carry more stuff with me might be, might be really useful. You think the end armor is better, Lilura? Bucks are more aggressive towards you in Acorn. Okay. What about a Might Head? 
That might be a good idea. Got him. Hyper stamina, medium armor. Okay, so might stuff is actually stronger. And more stamina? Stamina might be good. Might. <laughs> Got him. Again. Uh, but I'm gonna need a lot of grub hide for that. Okay, we'll try to go for end stuff, but... Obviously, we're gonna have to fight a whole bunch of ends. Which will be a pain in the butt. Let's make one of this. Oh, can we not? Oh, we need a grinder first. Better weapon, maybe. Shovel. Let's make a shovel. Dropped on the floor. Uh-oh. I like actually how it drops on the workbench itself, rather than somewhere else. All right, let's make this for now. There we go. Two chests. That'll be good. Hey there, Wolverine. Good to see you. Welcome. You like the might, but don't know where to get the bits. Uh, what do you mean? The might fuss? You don't know where to get that? Or you don't know where to get the grub height, you mean? Let's see. Item customizer, actions... Deposit stack. I wish there was a sorting option. That would have been nice. Let's bring all my tools. To like the beginning. Store all of this. Uh, not bandages. Not food. Food I definitely want to keep. Put that on the lower one. All the food. Uh, this also is food. It doesn't spoil, so we might... We might, we might keep that here for now. Temporarily. Net fuss, might fuss, it is analyzed. Have we not analyzed any of this? Yeah, all of that is analyzed. Awesome. Yeah, want to make sure that all of that stuff is analyzed. Will be good, will be important later down the line, probably. Very good. And this will take from the chests, right? Yes, it will. That's really good. I like that. Uh, let's go to recipes. We need a mite loaf. We need a cookery. Canteen. We need to grub height. So we definitely need to make that. Or uh, need to, to get that, I mean. Get in canteen. Garden patch. Wheat stems. Acorn top. Wait, do we not have that? Oh, we do have it. Wait, does it not take it from there? I'm confused now. Oh, wait, no. Those we have to build. Yeah, those we have to build like this. Right. Yes, okay, that makes sense. Oh, I'm really thirsty. Uh, okay. 
Okay, okay, okay. I need water. Water. Where is it? Is it going here? Oh god. Okay, well, better something than nothing. This is probably not a good idea. Oh. I hate that it goes into the nasty water. That's annoying. And we need to eat something too. Do we get any more water somewhere? Water, please. Please, sir. Here's a bit of water. There we go. Much, much better. And let's eat some mushrooms. You notice it doesn't take some things from the chest. Yeah, I, it actually makes sense because obviously those things you build like around in the world. Like it's not an item that you craft at a workbench or that you craft like in your hands. It's like something that you place down. So things that you place down are the ones that uh, uh where can we place this right there things that you place down are the ones that you you need to have the items with you or root rope wheat stems i don't know how to get a wheat stems Which ones even are those? No idea. Wait, did, where did my axe go? That one on four. That one on five. This is grass planks. Ladybug. What do wheat stems look like? Is that this, maybe? The remaining? Oh, we can get plant fiber from that? Oh, you can get plant fiber from the remaining grassy bit. Well, that's really good to know. That's really useful. Learn something new. Um... Oh, hi. I bet you. But this is not all we needed. Wheat stems. What does it even look like? That's dry grass. This stuff? Husky wheat. Uh, okay, so it is... Those kind of things, maybe. Maybe there's a easier one. Must keep it. Okay. We cannot get that yet. It seems. 
Or maybe there's one that's weaker or something. Hope so. Would like to make that farm. Would be good if we could. And the line. There we go. The dandelions work. And we have some dandelion tuft here. Nice. Found what I was looking for. Good, good, good. Let's research these. Both. The wheat stems. Raw science. We can build scaffolding with that. Door frames. Alright. Whole bunch of stuff. Will be useful, I'm sure. And the raw knot meat. No recipes. Do we not research the dandelion tuft? Seems like something you would research. Maybe not. What do I know? Alright. Put those in. One more. Awesome. <laughs> yes. Nice. We found it. I'm glad that I kept looking for it. Uh, well, one more over here. Yes. Perfect. Absolutely perfect. And we can get a farming... A, far, a farm going... I'm actually going to try to build a base this time around. In multiplayer, we didn't really do that. But I want to kind of try to build a base here. A little farm area. Some, some like, water dew collector or whatever. Like, stuff like that. To make it easier on me. So we don't have to grind too much for resources. Uh, okay. Eight crude ropes... And a corn top and spoiled meat. I'm gonna have to spoil some meat apparently. Well, in that case, we need to get some more meat. The more meat we have, the more we can uh, spoil, I guess. Oh. There we go. Feel kind of bad for those weevils. Just a little bit. So easy to kill them. Ah, freaking aphids. Ooh, almost at him. Oh. Nice. <laughs> Got the aphid. How cool would it be if you could make an aphid farm? That would be awesome. Building an aphid farm. Have aphids as your, as your pets. Like instead of in a lot of games where you can do cows or pigs or... That kind of stuff. You could have an aphid farm. And the aphids will create that honeydew. Like they do in um, Empires of the Undergrowth. They create honeydew. And then the ants will feed them, feed themselves with that. And you can do the same. Make an aphid farm. That would be so neat. 
Uh, what was I doing? <laughs> Ropes, yes. We need plant fiber. Can we cut this down into plant fiber? Like if we... Hit this. No? Alright. Worth a try. Just have to collect more of this stuff. There's plenty of it around. Bum, 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 bum. And I also have some in the chest, I'm pretty sure, actually. I don't even have to collect it, because I probably already did. Probably already have enough. Oh. Get more weevil meat, though. Always need more of that. Always. Make crude ropes. That'll be a cool idea. Great idea. Yeah, I think that would be really neat. Okay, we need one acorn top and one spoiled meat. Now we have an acorn top in here. That's for sure. Uh, spoiled meat, though. We don't. Oh, this one is almost spoiled. Nice. Just have to make sure we don't accidentally eat that one. That is the the weevil roast, okay. Let's cook all of that. Hey ladybug. Um, let's eat some of the mushrooms that we have. Those don't spoil. It's actually pretty good that the uh, mushrooms don't spoil. Really useful. Need to get some more water. Water down there. Water down. Oh my god! Taking a look. New one for the beast, Jerry. Wolf spider. Stay the hell away from there. Please don't get close to me. Alright, I think it's getting further away. No. Oh god. Is it getting closer? Oh man. <laughs> I'm scared. <laughs> I'm scared. Help me, please. Somebody. I need to get water, but now I'm afraid. I am afraid. I am petrified. Uh, we got any water anywhere? On these blades of grass? No. Got one over there, but then I first have to get up there, which is where the wolf spider was. I want to get close to that. Alright, let's get down. Let's be a man. We're not afraid of a itty, itty bitty spider. But we are afraid of the huge spiders. Oh my god. Oh, there's raw science there. Uh, nope. Uh, 
water. Please. That is water here. Nice. Oh, jeez. The ladybug scared me. No! Nice and clean. There we go. Got some water, finally. Spider is still stuck there. Okay, cool. Oh. There we go. We have the top. Now we just need to spoil the meat. Need to wait a little bit long, a little bit longer for that. I should probably start building like an actual base too, like a, a wall. Um, stem walls. Those are probably a lot stronger. Oh yeah, for sure. Like two. This is four. It's much better. Cost three for each one. And four for each one. But the grass is a lot easier to obtain. Hmm. Like there's a lot more grass around than there is those dandelions. Obviously. All right. Well, we'll try. Let's do a. Uh, Let's, let's build some stuff. Let's build... Let's build... This here, I guess. Um, wait. Cancel. Don't like the placement of that. Turn it around a little bit. There we go. That's better. And then... Sturdy door, of course. Boom. Now we'll need the stem wall. Compared to this. Uh, let's do the frame first. It's gonna get dark soon. I'll just pick up the one that was left. If I can find it. Uh, oh, back there. Anything else? Think so and then it's dark so we probably should sleep i think that would be a good idea there we go oh heck get out of here Hi, spy. no 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 you stay over there, little spider. You stay right over there. Why are the spiders getting stuck so much? 
I mean, I'm not com I mean, I'm not really complaining, but in a multiplayer yesterday, they didn't get stuck at all. <laughs> and now today, it seems like they get stuck everywhere. Kind of funny. Do I have the spoiled meat yet? Yes, I do. Um... Yeah, no, I'm not go I'm not going down there <laughs> as long as that spider's there. I'll wake up at 4:30. Okay, that's that's fine. It will get the uh, It will get light soon after that. It will get daytime soon after that. Spider's still there. Oh, spiders don't move. That's annoying. Okay, that's bad. I'm gonna have to constantly live in fear of a spider right next to me. Oh god. Oh god. Guys, I do not like this. Uh, <laughs> I do not like this. Can I save my game? Let's save my game. That's not fun. That's not fun at all. Oh my god. Hey, you stay there. You stay there, spider friend. Alright, my farm is done. We can put, uh... Plant fiber in there? Why would we want to do that? Plant the catalyst and fertilize compound to grow something. Optional fertilizer to modify. Plant. What? Spiders freaking me out, bro. Spiders freaking me out. Hey, where am I? What did my spare spear go? That's problem yesterday too. I'm gonna have to find a new place for a base. I'm not gonna have my base here. <laughs> that spider needs to go. That spider really has to go. Can't stay here. Let's get that raw science. Out in the middle of nowhere. Totally not gonna get jumped on by a spider. Yeah, we're good. Oh. Alright. Let's uh, analyze this. Oh, Weevil Shield. Forgot about that one. Corrupt Fest. Um, yeah, we got the, uh, ASL here as well. Got another quest. Let's see. Any more of those plans for stems? It's really hard to see. Where those like stems would be. That's one. Up there. Uh 
That's another one. Two, actually. Oh, I'm a little bit hungry, too. Let's eat some food first. Timber! Getting a lot from this. I just same actually as the other one. Yeah. Throw it out there. Come back and pick up the other one. Chop down this one. Because we're gonna need more anyway. Hey, Lunas. I'm up early? No, I'm still awake. <laughs> I'm not up early. Start at the stream at the midnight. Midnight our time. What do we get from this? Oh, more plant fiber. Nice. Look at all the plant fiber that we get from this. There we go. Good stuff. But how are you doing, Lunas? What are you still doing up here? What are you still doing at the 2 a.m.? You just got the notification that woke you up? Wait, really? You got woken up by a, by a notification? Wow. I sleep through everything. Are you such a light sleeper then? Do you get waken up by like a single notification? <laughs> wow. I need at least like six alarms. And even then... I will sleep through all of them. Just went through on Discord, you got it too. Hey, Mr. Ant. Hey there, Mr. Ant. Bye, and You always wake up two minutes before you al your alarm? No, I don't. When I sleep, nothing wakes me up. Alright, we got a couple of those stems. That's good. We need more crude rope. Can we make that on the go? Uh, nice. Yeah, we have some. Good. There we go. We got ourselves a door. Oh, I don't really like that it opens up this way, actually. Oh, wait. It doesn't matter. It opens up like this. Ah, okay. That's good. That's good. All right. No problem, then. You think dandelions won't grow back if you chop down their stump? Oh. In that case, I might not want to do that. Is the spider still there? I spy. I forgot about the spider for a second. <laughs> and then I saw grass moving. Okay. Well, if, if that is true, uh, Jensen, Jen, Jensen, then that was a very stupid thing of me to do. 
because those were pretty close to base so I, I hope it regrows if it doesn't regrow then I'm gonna be really mad at myself because it would be great to have those nearby Um, all right, let's see. Ba -ba -bum. I'm lucky. Well, sometimes I, uh, I think it's really annoying that nothing wakes me up. Because, you know, sometimes you have to get somewhere on time and then you just sleep right through it. That's really annoying. Alrighty. We could also build storages for this, right? Uh, let's see. Yeah, blank, blank pallets and stem pallets. Let's build this. Um, and it's a little uneven, but. Guess we could build it here. Guess it would be fine. Here we go. Uh, crude rope, pebbles, and dry grass chunks. Right, there's plenty of dry grass around. Yeah, just playing solo. Just learning the game. That uh, multiplayer yesterday was Raptor and such, but... <clears throat> I, uh... Oh, I thought there was another one. Oh, wait, there it is. Um... But I feel like playing single player just gives me a lot more time to learn. Like I don't I don't have to worry about progression as much. I feel like It's a lot more chill for me playing it this way. And I get to talk to chat a little bit better. Cuz playing multiplayer it just makes me uh Makes it really hard to focus on everything at once. You're gonna go uh, to bed, Lilura? Alrighty. Gotta be up in a few hours, 2 a.m. here as well. Oh my god. What are you doing? Gotta be up in a few hours? Go to bed. Go to sleep. And don't wake up from any notifications like Lunas. <laughs> Good night. Um, yes, we have to build that thing. Uh, we need pebbles and what was the other thing? Oh yeah, the dry grass. The dry grass and we just need some pebbles. God. All those insect sounds make me very uncomfortable. I was editing a video. Nice. At least you were doing uh, something good then. You were busy. Um, deposit. I don't like G for depositing and F for relocation. Why wouldn't it why would it not be like the other way around? I feel like depositing F would be a, is a lot easier to reach with your fingers than and, and you probably have to deposit things more often than relocate them. Let's see if we can change that. Can we change the key bindings? 
Let's see. Um, auto run. Oh, that might be useful. G. Okay. Mm, photo mode blocking. Unload. Where is the other one? Or oh, relocate up there. Okay. So yeah, let's do this one. G. That's fine. Then we'll do this one. F. So F will be unloading. G will be relocating. All right. Cool. I think that's a little easier. And apply changes. All right, cool. Yeah, I definitely think that would be a little easier like this. And oh, we need to find water. Water. Can I have some water, please? Please, uh... Water, water, water. Hate having, hate having to run after it. <laughs> uh, that's gonna fall in there, isn't it? Oh, wrong one. Wait, what? Oh, it's that one. Confusing sometimes. There it is. Nice. <laughs> Got it. Now we're full. Hey, fit. <laughs> hey, fit. Instead of a fit. Nice. I like that. Stem palette. Construct that too. Might be useful. We need more ropes and sprigs. We have those. We definitely have those. Retrieve stack. Um. Brief stack. What's the other thing? Ropes. So plant fiber we need. Make some of those. Perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect. And built. Yes. And now we can store these things. Properly in here. Very good. Very, very good. Um, we have a lot of building to do with walls. We have so much building to do. Like, we have to bring it all the way back down there, probably. Uh, back up here. Connect that bit. We're gonna have to do a wall, maybe maybe even up there. To make sure that nothing can jump on top of us or something. I don't know how high we would have to build it. Probably too high. I'm guessing. It's gonna take forever, bro. It's gonna take such a long time. So I guess we better get to work. <laughs> oh my god. Let's see. What are we gonna do here? Let's do... Um, 
does F do? A, B, C. Let's switch to grabs. No, let's switch just to like grass. If we put that. Okay. Can we do a half stem wall? I would like to do a half one. Like vertical half. I don't think that's possible. Only. Seems like only a horizontal half is possible with grass. That's unfortunate. I'll have to do this. There we go. Got a too high wall. But am I building it like? Oh no, it doesn't matter. Okay. Really doesn't matter. The orientation, I don't think it matters how you build it. There we go. And that would already be a huge improvement, I think. <clears throat> Everything on the ground is susceptible to bugs. So if you uh, if you can build on high ground, especially when you kill enough bugs, certain type. What? Um... If you can build on high ground... Especially when you kill enough bugs of a certain type, they will wage, wage an attack on your base. Uh, yeah, that's one of the settings that you can turn on and off. I have it turned on for now. The, like, base defense stuff, I guess. But I do want to wall this place off to make it relatively safe, at least. I'm, I'm probably going to build my base on top of this baseball. Um, like I will make a floor, like a, just a rectangular house or something on top of this. So that it's relatively safe and high up. I don't know if animals can get up here. During the multiplayer yesterday, we had one of the ants spawning here. So it's kind of weird. Mm-mm-mm. <laughs> Hey, yeah, Lunas, you need your sleep. You need to get back to sleep, bro. I mean, I'm glad you're here, but sleep is important. Yeah, let's keep building this. We have a couple of them. Might as well. Ba-ba-bum. And the storage is basically built for nothing right now. Because <laughs> it doesn't have anything anymore. That's alright. This looks quite good. Look at this. This looks quite nice. Yeah, I like this. Built into the, into the mud. Good stuff. Could you build scaffolding on the side of the baseball? I think so. We have scaffolding um, like options here. Stem scaffold, bra bra bracket, triangle, and another triangle bracket. So I'm pretty sure you could build it there. Uh, looks like it. Let's see. Not entirely sure how that would work. Unsupported. We'd probably have to build it on the ground first. Oh, no, no. See, I can build it right here. 
So I can I can start building on the edge of the baseball. I can start building there. That'll be good. Uh, maybe this one would be better. Right here. I'm not sure how I would use this, but it is possible, it seems. <laughs> that's, uh, that's, that's a problem for another time. Yeah, spiders can jump, yeah. I don't want to think about it. I don't want to think about it. Hi there. And what are you doing? Get out of here. I was one of the infected ladybugs. Yeah, let's get this one. But building a wall should help against spiders as well, right? Like, I mean, sure they can jump, but it should at least lower the chance of them getting into your base slightly. Maybe. Like, it will make life harder for them, I guess. <laughs> I wonder how long it takes for stuff to respawn like that. Because I'm going to need a lot of it. I'm going to need a whole lot of it. We don't really got a lot around us. At least. Not in places where I feel safe going right now. <laughs> Especially on my own. That is one here. Need to get some food. Better than starving, I think. Wanna have at least like around half. useful being able to throw it so far pick up those I have three of those do we equip it oh yeah right there Good stuff. Oh, there's the other one. Wow, I threw that one much further away. Yes, because I was still walking or running while doing that. Uh, building on top of the baseball is a good starting area when you get floors. Oh yeah, for sure. Yeah, I want to build a little little house, little tower there. A little base up here. I think that would be a good spot. Then we're already high up. And then I know 
I know at some point we can get um what are those things called again? Uh what's the what's that English word? Um Like zip lines? Yes, zip lines. That's it. Zip lines, zip lines. Maybe mushroom tops also? What do you mean? What do you mean with mushroom tops? Oh, <laughs> I didn't mean to do that. <laughs> Alright, we're getting there. We're building our wall. And we're gonna make the ants pay for it. Yes. Diamond to harvest. Wow, that takes a long time. Then the catalyst and fertilizer compound across something. I'm not sure how that works. Like, no idea. Oh, it's getting dark soon. Let's kill these guys. Asking for it. There we go. Make a noise. Kind of funny that the lawn might tries to kill the weevil. I mean, the weevil is a little bit bigger. Not much, but a little bit. Yeah, the weevils don't don't attack back at all, so that's easy, I guess. A look. What the heck is that? Not the ladybug, but what's behind it? Right here. That thing. Cannot keep it. Whatever. Let's get back. It's getting dark. Oh, can't jump that. Any more dandelions nearby? One back there. Is it the ladybug? It better be. Oh, I don't think it's Ladybug. I don't think it's Ladybug. No, it ain't. That ain't no Ladybug. That's a wolf spider. And it's close. It's real close. Oh boy. Oh wait, it, it spoils as well when it's on the roasting pit? Ooh, that's bad. Okay, well, that's uh... That. I don't know if it turns good again when it's uh... 
And it's roasted, I hope so. Mm. Alright, eat that. Let's have a lot of water. Man, I feel like the spiders get much closer during my single player here than they did in the multiplayer. Like, I, I only saw a spider once really close to this baseball. During the multiplayer. Only once. And now I've already seen it three times. That's super close. I think single player hates me. I really do. I really don't think it likes me. Nice and clean. There we go. A little bit of water. Something to analyze? Uh, no. Nothing to analyze. <clears throat> oh, the mushroom top? Used them as a raised... Like a raised floor. Already. I mean, the mushrooms are not super high up. But I guess if we wanted a lower area than this, we could do that. I suppose. God. They're everywhere. They're everywhere, dude. Now let's sleep. <clears throat> Take a nap. You like watching the single player better than the multiplayer? Yeah. I personally enjoy this a little bit more. Oh my god, it's still there. Personally like this a little bit more as well. As I can just do whatever the heck I want. Why does it get so close? Dude, that's not cool. <laughs> Why does it get so No. Stop it. Uh, it feels like it. <laughs> it feels like it's stalking me. Oh my god. <laughs> I am terrified. I am absolutely terrified. I do not like this one bit. Okay, we have spoiled meat. Uh, put that in there. Wait, can we use the spoiled meat as fertilizer? Oh, yes, we can. Fertilizer. Uh, okay, we cannot do that right now. We can only fertilize it, I guess, before we start growing stuff. I will put, uh, put that in here. That'll be fine. Okay, what is my next thing that I want to have? Obviously, I want to build that wall, but... We don't really got a lot of... Options for that. You gotta go pretty far to find more. This one is close, actually. Wait, did that one respawn? I think that one respawned. One back there, one over here. Alright, let's get that one. But af after those two. After those two, we probably should, uh, should go and get some more stuff for, like, cooking or water or 
something like that it will help us survive. Um, there it is. There we go. Oh. make a smurf house if there were bigger mushrooms i would love to do that what the heck was that did somebody knock on my door <laughs> ew that was so loud that was like fbi open up <laughs> jeez Oh, so loud. Um, there's dandelion thing here. I'll pick it up. Put it in a chest at some point. Alright, one, two. Three, four. Only four? Usually it was like six, right? Always has been like six. Something stuck somewhere, maybe. Stuck on the grass. I don't know. There's water, though. I need water. Tablets needed. And another one somewhere. Very good. All right. Who's run? It's the, it's the FBI federal buck investigation. <laughs> yep. Sounded like it. Now, where's those other two? I really needed those. I need every single one I can get at this point. It's super annoying that we didn't get the last two. Oh well, okay. Um, there was one more somewhere. Back that way. Can we not jump this? Oh, yes, we can. Uh, where was it? It's the one. Gotta be careful the freaking spider that roams this area. Where is it? There it is. There's the end line. Wait, was that the one that I was after? I thought it was more that way. Oh, there's two of them here. Even better. Good. You bet there's a spider behind me. Behind it, as lead investigator. <laughs> yes, probably. Probably. Yeah. A little chilly, but not bad. Oh man, we're picking up a lot of those. That's awesome. We won't need all of them right now, of course, but you know, later. Very useful for later. Throw them down there. Ba -ba -bum. Yeah. 
good, good. And then there was another one back there, a little bit further. Might as well get that immediately. Otherwise, we're going to forget about it. Hey, Weevil. There's mushrooms. This is probably going to fall that way. FBI, open up. Now we'll go back. Uh, we'll go back there. For the waypoint. Just to make sure I don't forget about it. Oh, it's actually not that far away. these it doesn't seem like I'm breaking it he's not do anything This is doing something, but right, let's go back. Bob, well, maybe if we could find a new source of these uh, wood stems, that would be good, you know, but no luck. All right, we can finish this. Cool. All right, this part is finished now. Um, I mean, we're, we're not done yet. There's much more to do. That's a good start. I don't know if we have to do that one too. I'll just do it just in case. Oh. Decking the vehicle, huh? What's a worker and do that? I mean, I guess it's food. Makes sense. Only two more? Oh, wow. I really didn't get as much as I thought I would. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, only two more to finish this one. And then we have three, so we need five in total. Which we probably won't be able to get. Uh, unless we go far away. Yeah, we definitely need to build upwards so I can actually see what's like around us. I can kind of see what's around us right now, but th there's a lot of dandelions right there, actually. One, two, three, four, I think. But it is quite far away. It is quite far away. Hmm. What do we do? 
What do we do? I only have, only have to chop down one. It will give me six of those stems. And I can carry five with me at once. Which is enough to finish this wall. Let's do it. so loud now oh yeah so it, do it it does sometimes drop on the grass that's annoying now where's the last bit oh here all right we have five of them cool don't need the last one let's remove that Marker. Did I research this stuff? I think I did. Yes, I did. Want to double check. All right, cool. Finish that one. Good stuff, good stuff. So at least this is a pretty good start, right? I mean, it won't defend me against uh, against everything, especially not from all sides. It's only a tiny piece of defense around this area. Um, <laughs> but it's a start. It's a start, that's for sure. We'll make it work. Um, okay, let's see. What do we want to make next? I want to make something that actually helps me right now. That actually benefits me right now. Nice and clean. Like a canteen or smoothie station. We need grub sludge. We need to find those grubs. Mm. Hollows container. Okay. Water container. Does this also collect water? <clears throat> like, can it rain actually or something? Or, and then this will be collecting water? I don't think it rains in the game, does it? I don't think I've seen that. Sap catcher. Smithing station. The core. Stuffed mite. Oh wait, stuffed mite is literally just... It's just a, an item that you can place. Stuffed bugs. Oh. Acorn fence. Oh, that's cute. <clears> that <throat> looks pretty good. Sap catcher, grinder. Need wheat stems for these two, unfortunately. Attach this sap producing. Roots and branches. Attach this to sap producing roots and branches for more convenient harvesting. Right. Well, we have one of those right here. I spy. Oh, God. Mark that one off the list. Hi. Hi, B. Can we be friends? I would love to be friends. No? Alright. 
Uh, yeah, I want to make these. Sap catchers. Then we also need those wheat stems. Aren't it? Wow, this is huge, actually. <laughs> this is... This is so much bigger than I was... Than I thought it would be. Um... <laughs> Oh my god. What the hell? I thought it was gonna be like a small thing. Weevil, you're very noisy. Wrong angle, wrong angle, rare. Okay. Whatever. I mean, this is a sap producing branch. Wheat stems. <laughs> Different kind of wheat. <laughs> Attach this to the sap producing a root and branch for more convenient harvesting. Well, apparently this one doesn't count. Man, that's so unfortunate. That's so super unfortunate. Because this one does produce sap, so I was hoping we could um, put it on there. Oh, here are the two missing ones. Hi. Hi. We were missing those earlier. Alright, I'll uh, throw those there. We know where we can find them. Uh, where was that thing that I was trying to make? Sap catcher. Has to go on a big branch or a tree. Or the, the tree. I mean, what is a big branch like? You know, like. I feel like this is a decent sized branch. It produces sap, so. Oh, right, there's um. Raw science here. Nice. Oh, that feather wasn't here earlier, was it? Row feather. We could chop that up if we have a higher tier tool. Nice. Um, okay, this branch then? Would this one work? The true limb or roots of an oak tree? Is that the only thing that works? So not these branches? That's stupid. And why, why would it say... Sap producing roots or branches? Like, these are branches. I mean, they're falling off. Sure. They are sap producing. That's stupid. It shouldn't say sap producing branches then. <laughs> That's so stupid. And a tree is so far away. I don't want to get anywhere close to that. <laughs> I don't want to get close to that tree if I if I don't have to. I'd much rather stay near base. That's why I wanted that thing. Because I was hoping to collect more sap that way. Well, unlucky for us. It's not possible, it seems. Not over here anyway. What about... Okay, it probably won't work.
What about these? Yeah, no. I, I, I didn't think it was gonna work, but... No, well, you can try. Is there anything back here? Anything useful? Like, there's water, right? Can we drink this water? No. Sad face. Daytime should be fairly safe, yeah. I mean, I know it should be safe. <laughs> I know it should be safe. But if I don't have to go there, then I don't want to. <laughs> Just to be extra safe. Yeah, what else can we make then? If we can't make a sap catcher here, what else can we make at our base right now? Um, spinning wheel? No, we need clay for that and parts. We don't have those yet. Flower petals? We need amp parts for a lot of things, it seems. Nine wood stems for this? Jeez, that's expensive. Acid gland. Boiling gland. Smithing station. Real marble, don't have that. Mm -mm -mm. I think the best thing we could do is get uh, get a grub height. Best thing we can do is get a grub height, to be honest, and get ourselves a canteen. Oh, it's getting to night time now. I'm choosing the wrong time to get out there. Just pretend it's beef jerky. Not a good time to get out just before dark. I will get back before it gets too dark, though. I'll do a quick... Quick exploration. See if we can find anything. Map marker placed. Oh. No, that's not what I wanted, damn it. There we go. Oh, it's coming straight for us. F you. Those are by the oak trees. I've seen them a little bit further away yesterday. Somewhere in... God, somewhere in this area, I think. I don't remember exactly where. There were a whole bunch of them. Know what I wanted to do? Let's make a bunch of these bandages. That's smart. You get water. It's gonna fall down in there. So probably these branches would work, right? Like these are, these are slightly bigger. No, also don't work. Okay, that's stupid. Nope, don't 
won't fall off. Getting closer to the tree. There's a branch or a root. All right, so this one would work. Okay, this one. Yeah, that that's fa that's false advertisement. <laughs> that's false advertisement right there. Do not like that. Gonna be night time soon. I'm not sure if holding my hands to my face makes me see any better than with my glasses. I haven't seen any of those corrupts yet. Hey there, Amber. Yeah, you missed quite a bit. Three hours. I know they're supposed to be like underground, like you can see the dirt moving. Uh, oh, like that. There we go. Yes, complain about it and you will receive. Awesome. <laughs> Two hides from that. Alright, another one, please. Let's switch to third person so I can see a little better around me. God. Don't like this area. I'm gonna go back. Hopefully I find one on the way back. That would be cool. That'd be real cool. Well, home is back that way. Oh, here we go. Spider ants. Nice. I think that's all we needed. <clears throat> Let's get back. Oh, what's chasing me? What's chasing me? What's that music? Oh, it's gone. Whatever it was. Oh, hey there, Quinn. Daniel still watching. Well, might. Alright, we're almost home. We're almost safe. All 
power back here. Good. Good, good, good. How easy can one solo this game? One, I don't know. I have no idea. <laughs> don't ask me. I'm terrified on my own. Playing multiplayer was a lot less scary, I must admit. Like, if you're pl if you're playing with other people and you're constantly talking or hearing somebody's voice... It's a lot less scary than being on your own. Well, on my own with 25 people watching, but <laughs> you know what I mean. <laughs> Uh, make a canteen. Oh. I'm gonna place in my inventory. Alright, let's pick up all of these. Oh wait, fluffy. What's the difference? Tier two. Could be used to drift down from even greater heights. Oh, so it has like more durability? Oh cool. Alright. Pick up the canteen. Nice. Alright, that's pretty good. Got ourselves a canteen. That will definitely help us out. Being able to scoop up down, some water. These are really useful. Um... Scoop. There we go. Very nice. Probably scoop that up too. By jumping. Yep. Good, good. You can see Jupiter and all its moons around from your house right now. That's pretty cool. Is the game harder to solo than Vilheim? I'm not quite sure. I think so. I feel like this game is harder. I mean, spiders are everywhere. <laughs> and they can one-shot you, so... Yeah, definitely a little bit more difficult, I would say. Oh wait, it was already morning already. Oh no, almost. Never mind. It was midnight or something. You've got to go, Jensen. No problem, because uh, actually, I think I'm going to go as well. I mean, I've been, uh, this is my second stream for today. We did um, we did Slime Rancher earlier today, Slime Rancher 1. We played that one a little bit again. We got we made good progress there. So if you have not seen that one, go, go to my YouTube channel page and uh, look up the Slime Rancher episode for today. It was a lot of fun playing that one. Um, so yeah, we did that one earlier today, so I'm a little tired. It is 3 in the morning for me. It's 3 a.m. Uh, 10 minutes past that, actually. So I think I'm going to go take a, take a nap, if you don't mind. <laughs> Thanks, everybody, so much for being here. Thanks for watching. Thanks for enjoying the game with me and uh, learning more about it. I really enjoyed this. I enjoyed this a lot more than yesterday, to be honest, with multiplayer. Um, I think single player... I, I, I'm just... I just like single player games a whole lot more than multiplayer. I like just being on my own. Just chilling. Just 
being able to learn stuff without feeling rushed a little. Just taking my time with things. And I uh, am really enjoying it. Even though it's scary. It's like a lot more scary on my own than it um, than it was yesterday. But uh, it was fun. Thanks for being here, everybody. Thanks for hitting the like. Thanks for subscribing. Thanks for following on Twitch. And I hope to see you all next time again for some more of Grounded or uh, many other games. <laughs>